Hey YouTube, this is Kent. Um, I got my Oculus Rift for Christmas, the developer kit. So let's see what it has in the box. Alright, some paperwork. Um, I got an AC adapter. Looks like it comes with different adapters here for different countries. Let's see, it comes with a little mini USB cord. Screwdriver to adjust the Oculus Rift, um, HDMI cord, and a DVI to HDMI adapter, and of course the Oculus Rift, which is a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Attached, it's an Oculus Rift attached to this box with a six-foot cord. You can unplug it from this box. You know, I thought it, I was hoping it was going to come with a DVI cord, and it didn't. I see, it does say a three-foot DVI cable there. And I don't, there's no 3 foot DVI cable. Oh, and here's all, here's the other lenses in here. The different lenses. There's A cups, B cups, and C cups. Uh, I read that the A cups will have the biggest uh, field of view. And for people with regular sight, so we're going to give those a shot first. I've got the power plugged in, the USB cord for the sensing. It's this one, the USB cord for the sensors, and the HDMI port plugged in. You can also have a DVI back here. Um, so right now I've got this uh, HDMI going into a DVI adapter and into the DVI port on the back of my computer. And this cord here comes out and goes into the Oculus Rift. Okay, blue light just went on. Got a brightness and contrast values here. Contrast and brightness. I'm gonna put on the riff for the first time ever. I have the A cups on, and I'm noticing motion blur, choppiness. Pixelation, <laughs> but there are lots of cool like like things floating around in the air <laughs> that are totally 3D, and that's pretty cool. Um, just like little feathers and stuff, just kind of floating around, and they they. I can see that they're kind of close to me and some are kind of far away from me. So I was so excited to start with the Rift that I forgot to start my screen capture software to capture the in-game footage of what I was looking at. So I recorded this later, um, so it's not going to be in sync with my head movements, but at least you can see the world that I was in. There's a butterfly up there. Um, it's pretty sweet, you know, whoa. I got a little bit of screen tearing too, so you get, when you turn your head like this, you get motion blur and choppiness and screen tearing. I already kind of forgot about the screen door effect, the pixelation. Whoa, <laughs> that, that butterfly seemed like it just kind of flew right through me. Um... This rift was, uh... I got it. I got it used on eBay for like 280. I couldn't wait. I keep watching all these videos on YouTube about the Rift, and I've been watching them for a year. And now they're talking about releasing a second developer's kit before it comes to commercial. And apparently, that's what they're going to do. They're going to release a second developer's kit before it is released commercially. So I just couldn't wait anymore. I had to buy it, but yeah. I'm liking this. <laughs> I'm liking it. Okay, move. <laughs> Moving's even better. Oh shit! You gotta move. You got to move. So you gotta move. Oh shit! This is so cool. This is so cool, dudes. Oh, dudes. 
the moving makes it moving. <laughs> oh shit! There's a wall here. Oh, dudes. I'm in love. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So I see what all the hype is about. You know, you keep seeing it. Oh, I had to buy it because people were freaking out on YouTube about it, and it's driving me crazy. I couldn't play it. I had to buy it. Oh man, it feels like I can just reach out and touch that stuff. See, I used to hear about Dactyl Nightmare and the the virtual reality machines from the 90s that came out. They were like, uh, they were like hundred thousand dollar machines or something like that when virtual reality first came out. And it was like five dollars to play for like a couple minutes in the arcade. And they never had them where where I was. I never got a chance to play them. So ever since I saw those pictures in like video game magazines and commercials about it, I always wanted to, to try those and play those. And I always felt gypped because I never got a chance to play them. And now, finally, I feel like I finally got a true virtual reality experience. <laughs> oh my gosh, finally. Like, and you know, a couple years ago I bought a Vuzix Rap 920 and I was pretty, I was pretty happy with that thinking that I finally got a good virtual reality experience out of that. I still want to play Dactyl Nightmare because I still want to know how that feels and how it compares. But this, this is, this is awesome. I watched demos of this so many times on YouTube and you can't, in the demos on YouTube, you can't see all these little fuzzies floating around. It's almost like it's snowing. Whoa, that one went right by my face. It's not near as clear as your monitor. The resolution is, is so low. It's at 800 pixels high and 1200 wide, so it's like 600 by 800 per eye. Dude, I'm gonna stay in here for hours just looking at stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it, it tracks your yaw, pitch, and roll. There's a roll. There's my pitch. And I guess this is my yaw. So it tracks three degrees of freedom. It messes with you seriously though when you try to you try to go forward, back, left, or right. And you hear people saying this a lot. You expect it to change your view, but it's not. It just makes you feel kind of weird. It kind of does make you feel a little queasy. <laughs> wow. So there's screws on the side that allow you to move this further away and closer. Like I said, the closer the, le I, the, the lenses are to your eyes, the uh, better peripheral vision you have. These are the A cups and the B and C are for people with not 20-20 vision, with nearsightedness. And apparently those are even further away from your eyes and they take off even more peripheral vision. <laughs> I can spend all day in here, dudes. <laughs> all day! Oh shit! Look over the rail! <laughs> okay, it's cool. I mean, you feel like you're in it. You feel like you're in the world, look, kind of looking through a tube, though. Kind of feels like there'd be like a circle right here, and I'm looking through it, maybe. I think they should make two screens, make it twice as wide. Well, look at those wraparound screens that they've been working on, those curvy screens, and then try to figure out how to make that work. That would be bomb. I don't want to see so much black. I don't want to see so much of the of the rift. I want to see more screen over here. And I was kind of afraid of that. This is cool. This is good, guys. This is fun. Oculus Rift. I'm sure John Carmack is going to build some sweet... Um, positional tracking in it, so it can track you when you go forward and back and left and right. Yeah, when you do that, it's all, oh, it doesn't feel right because it doesn't move. And that, I know that's what he's working on. I got a Razor Hydra coming in the mail, and I can't wait to attach that to my chest, like I've seen in some demos and things like that. The further out it is, the, the more peripheral vision you lose and the closer it is the more peripheral vision you have unfortunately when it's close it starts jamming into my 
into my nose and my brow and it's very it's very uncomfortable. So even if I have it it's matching my head really hard as far as it goes, even then I still don't see as much as I do on my T V screen of the scene, of the edges of the of the the peripheral, the field of view. Almost as much, but I'm still missing just like a little bit on the edges, which means I'm seeing less pixels. And when you look at in the Oculus, when you're in it, it kind of this looks like you're looking at a circular screen. The peripheral vision, I was kind of afraid it wasn't going to be as cool as everybody talks about. You don't really have the peripheral vision that I was hoping for. I can, you know, I can look right and see see a bunch of black from the Oculus Rift's uh, case or side and left and down and up and I see the I see the pla black plastic all the way around. The, the motion blur is pretty bad too, the motion and the choppiness. This is the developer's kit though and you know that's they're working on that. It's it's way better than my I have a wrap 920 uh, a Vuzix wrap 920 it's way better than that. I'm very excited to try more stuff. Okay, <laughs> I keep looking down, thinking I'm 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 gonna see my Xbox controller down here, but it, but all I see is grass. As well on the on the edges of the screen, it's kind of blurry. You look at the tree straight on, it's it's really in focus. But then when I get over here on the edge, put it on the edge of the screen, it gets a little it gets blurrier, and I'm sure that's because of the. The convex structure of the lenses that I'm using. All right, to be continued. Thanks for watching. I have more Oculus Rift videos to come, so subscribe so you don't miss them.